Maybe. I know, I know. Okay, I have knight e5, and I have knight g5. I think they both win. Knight e5 is kind of a crazy move, but knight e5 looks winning, but he has the g6, knight g7. So knight e5 looks winning to me. Then there's knight g5 too. What a crushing game this is. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful destructive game. Wow, it's kind of unbelievable. No resign. Okay. Fine. I'll take care of you myself then. Seeing everything. Mate. That's great, Celsius. It's very important. Good food. Okay. I mean, we had this wing gambit coming out of a Nimzovich. Usually, 
it comes out of a straight Scandinavian. I don't. So now, you know, here, rook b5 and here d4. Now, we have it out of a Nimzovich Scandinavian. My opponent is hoping for d4, bishop g4, castle long. Uh, very dangerous. But I went for b4, which is a, a mocked uh, wing gambit. Of course, he should take with the knight. Then I was going to play this and just wing it. Pun intended. But uh, queen b4, now, okay. Now we have this wing gambit, and we're going, we're going for the rook lift. If we can get it in, we want to eliminate this knight on f6 so that we can get sacrifice on h7. Okay, I could have done this too, and it looks like this is the better try because now, obviously, take and here, here, and this eliminates the knight. Because now, if he plays knight d5, he gets mated. I would think bishop h7 is winning. Or you could actually probe the position even more and play c4 first to drive him away. But but why not just rook h3? And this is the idea of this wing gambit. Fantastic, un really. Uh, Unknown gambit, really. Rook g3. And bishop here. It's just gone. This position is gone. If he, if he takes, then take here. Wow. No escape for the king. No escape. Okay, so that's an interesting move, knight b5, knight e5, but okay. Anyway, we played this way, take. Now my idea if he played knight d4 was, I thought I had this, but he actually has, I thought I had this, which happened later in the game, but he has queen f6 and Apparently this is this is uh, this is winning too. Do, 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 do. Rook G and now Rook F three or Bishop G five too. He has no squares to go. If he takes its mate. Do, 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 do. If this I play, what? Rook f3, yes. No defense. Now take here. And mate, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, so ninety four, and he, he doesn't really see the problem. He has to play f five to to stop all of this. He has to play f five to stop all of this. Um, but he doesn't do it. So instead he plays knight a5, which must lose. And I thought that knight e5 was winning, or knight g5. Uh, I mean, I was pretty sure that knight e5 is winning. I mean, is knight g5 winning too? I guess it's computer-like, yeah. I thought it was close. Now bishop h7. This is what I was looking at. If he takes, I was looking at here. I 
and then if there's something crazy like like this with a wild attack but anyway that's complicated but I played 95 I thought 95 was winning and you see the computer doesn't see the move 95 and that's what brings me joy is that the blowfish didn't see 95 and you see it here blowfish missed 95 and now you put in 95 and 95 is the winning move see shall blowfish band again I should give you guys inspiration computer is not of course always right so 95 is not on its radar but after we play 95 computer realizes that it's the most dominant powerful move and the understanding of the position trumps whatever in the, is in the blowfish I just knew 95 was winning Oh, I, oh, I play bishop h7 first, but I meant, I, I, I should have just, I, I'm kind of thinking knight e5 now is winning completely. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Same thing. Yeah. f5, queen h5, huh? Wow. And this is mate. Wow. What a... What a... What a... What a beautiful... Beautiful game. Wow. Okay, I, I played the same idea, basically. Take... It's better to do it first, but take and now 95. So it looks like actually my move order is the best. Take and 95 is the best. Computer doesn't see that either. Take, take and now 95. Yes. So, so my move goes from the computer doesn't see it, and my move goes to. Plus nine. 95. Of course, the idea being if knight b3, check, check, and then. Oh, I was looking at rook e3. But I. I suppose. I was looking at rook e3, but I did see bishop h4 action. So he can sack back like, like this. I mean, it's funny Queen H4 is winning, but if he does this, look at this move, G4. G4 wins, oh my God. But okay, I mean, here we have the shot, Bishop H6 silencing everything. You're not going to see this type of chess uh, every day. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. Bishop h6. Take queen g6. Um, here is mate. And obviously, a bishop f6 we take. And now there's no defense. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So. Yeah, I guess. I guess you're here, yeah, but, you know. I guess so. So take and 95. Now, he has to play g6. And I played knight f7, which is easy. Easy win with no time. I mean, I could also just go for the mates with queen f3. There's no defense now. 
um, Rook F8, just check. Yeah. I try to avoid the Twitch, uh, relationships in general, you yeah? And may So in the game Knight E five Knight F seven and the exclamation rook D three picking up the rook Knight takes D eight he won't resign so rook F three the geometry Coming in, Rook F7. Rook F7 could mate him or just pick up the queen. He doesn't resign. Take, take. Check. And it's mate. Check and mate. So he resigned. Thanks for that. And let's move on.